What's up guys, Chandler Henry here with Rise Magic. I have a friend named Kevin Yu, and he sent me a lot of playing cards in the past. He sent me these cards, and these cards, and he just recently hit me up again and said, Chandler, I got this really cool new deck that I want you to review. And Kevin's a friend of mine, so of course I would say yes, but I did tell him that I just can't do it right now, man. I'm, I'm way too busy. I just moved out, just graduated. I'm here for like a week. Then I got to fly halfway across the country to a job interview in a couple days. I want to do it. I just don't have any time to make a review right now, dude. I'm sorry. And he replied and said, how about I send you 24 decks? So... thunderstorm outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, I'll close the windows really quick. And a tornado warning. Phenomenal. But anyways, back to the task at hand. The Play Dead playing cards by Riffle Shuffle Playing Card Company, my friend Kevin Yu. I don't want you guys to think this is a super biased review, especially since he sent me so many decks. I obviously wouldn't be like, yo, these joints are trash after he sent me these decks. But to be honest, if they were trash, I would just not make a video and let him know personally since we're friends like that. And I am proud to announce to you guys that these are not trash. In fact, they are phenomenal. And here's the other thing guys, nowadays, really the only thing that matters when it comes to playing cards is the design. Whether or not you like the design, and that's completely subjective. Almost all cards are printed by USPCC, Expert Playing Card Company, Card of Mundi, and almost all of them come out phenomenally. And they're all printed on the same machines in the same stocks. So almost all cards feel pretty much exactly the same. Only true aficionados and fanatics like myself or maybe some of you guys out there could blindfold and maybe tell the difference between some card stock and the other. Since all cards are pretty much the same and all I really care about is the design, before Kevin even sent these to me, I was like, yo, let me see what they look like first because I didn't want to review them. They looked like garbage. These look really, really cool, and the awesome design starts from the box out. Not even just the card box, the half brick box that they came in. See, I got four of these half brick boxes, and what comes with them in the box is obviously a half brick, so six decks of playing cards. And then this is the box you get, so it looks like this. It says Play Dead on there, the whole branding and everything. The design flows through all the way around. Got the Riffle Shuffle playing card logo down there. And then when you open it up, a brand new box, what you get inside is on the little bar right here it says, the game is never over. That just made me think of Spy Kids 3D Game Over and man, what a flick that was when I was in first grade. My goodness. So there it is, the game is never over and then when you open it, inside you have this sticker sitting on top which is the nice little skull logo that you see on the deck itself and then six brand new decks of Play Dead playing cards. One of the cool things that I didn't think I would like about this deck is that the design that you see is actually a little bit 3D. Lots of times, in my opinion, when you try and create depth on playing cards, it ends up looking really funky, but in this case, it looks really professional. As you guys saw in the intro, the deck looks great in action. One of my favorite things about it is when you're doing a move like Under Pressure or a Fan, you see the face of the skull repeating over and over and over again. It kind of reminds me of the Memento Mori playing cards by Chris Ramsey with the whole skull design. It looks pretty cool. When I bust open the deck for the first time, one of the first things I do is take out the Jokers and the Ad cards. So just so you guys know, this is the Joker right here. And then here's the Mirror Joker. Pretty cool looking with the skulls, and then this is the ad card that you get with the deck. And what I do with these cards is I place them right in my one drawer where I put all the ad cards. You know what? May as well show you guys how many I have. I don't even think this is all of them, honestly. This is just from like the past year. This is all 
of the extra jokers and add cards from the decks I've gotten over the years. Some great ammunition for possible card throwing fights. I'll give you guys a little bit to look at all the different pip designs, court card designs, the hearts, clubs, spades, diamonds, everything. Here's what the deck looks like. All right, that's enough with the design of the deck. Now let's get into the handling. And I know I just told you guys that all decks handle the same, but you know, we all know that every deck has its little, little intricate differences, little minute differences when you pick it up. And this deck is no exception. First off, this deck is extremely soft. Right out of the box, lots of decks need a lot of breaking in before you spring them. This is crushed stock, so it's really, Really springs, no problem, right out of the box. No issues whatsoever. It's raining cats and dogs outside. My room is shaking from the thunder right now. But anyway. All decks fan good immediately out of the box because they're brand new, they ain't got any of your grimy fingerprints all over them, they fan great. But not all decks Anaconda and Riffle fan well right out of the box because sometimes that that motion with your thumb on the back end takes a little bit of time. I'm happy to report with this deck, you can Anaconda Amazing right out of the box. In fact, I'll prove it right now in this uncut segment. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Kevin, thank you for the awesome Play Dead playing cards. You know those old like Trident Gum commercials where it was like, I wish I was paid in trident layers. I'd be crazy not to get paid in trident layers. I love trident layers. Yeah. yeah! No one ever pays me in gum. I very much like getting paid in playing cards. It's pretty sick. Speaking of which, if you guys want to purchase your own Play Dead playing cards, you can pick them up on riffleshuffle.com on June 1st, or, or if you want to support our channel directly, we do have a very limited stock available on rise-magic.com forward slash store. When you order from us, you will get a signed handwritten note from myself along with an amazing, incredible Rise Magic sticker. Look at that. Some of you keen-eyed viewers out there noticed in last week's video that I did in fact remove the Rise Magic sticker from the back of my cell phone. It was just getting really old, so I attached it to my desk over here. And now I will do the very stressful, very stressful task of putting on a brand new one for your entertainment. You might ask, why does just putting a sticker on your phone cause you so much anxiety? Well, you have to get it in the dead center, vertically, horizontally, and you have to make sure the arrow's sticking straight up while having no air bubbles. It makes me sweat even more than I am right now because I have to turn off the fan for the noise of this video. I have to close the windows because apparently, you know, a tornado is coming outside like the Wizard of Oz, and I had to wear this long sleeve black t-shirt. Long sleeve shirt, what am I saying? You know what, until I live in a place that has AC, I'm just gonna do next week's video shirtless. Don't worry, I'm kidding. I won't do that again, especially since that video was two years old and since then my health has, boom. That thunder is loud, I hope you guys can hear that. See you guys next week in between now and when next week's video is posted. I'll know a lot more about my future in terms of employment and things like that. You know how I said I can't talk about anything yet? I still can't talk about anything, but I'll let you guys know that in a couple days, I am getting flown halfway across the country for a very, very awesome job interview. So I'm very excited for it. Fingers crossed I stay healthy while on the trip. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do some open heart surgery on my desk right now. First off, as you can see, there are white and black stickers. If you prefer one or the other, for instance, I have a black phone case, so obviously I'm not gonna put a white sticker on there. I gotta color coordinate. I don't think there's a like a part on the website where you can like put a special preference, but you can just shoot me an email well or before you place your order and I'll make sure I send you the right color. Just make sure you get that email in before you take the order. Anyway, I'm sure there's some people in the comments who have ordered from our website before and guess what? These stickers will, will change your life. Just one of them. Change your life in such a positive manner. I'll, I'll explain right now. As you guys see, we got you know, a old lame phone case with the old, you know, I used to be cool, used to have that stick in the middle, but you know, anyway, let's cut this black one out and let's just make sure my hands work and things of that nature. Ooh, nice little snip snip right there. Now here comes the stressful part. We got the phone case right here. I do have an outline area and I know that sticker was perfectly centered but I do remember that my, my arrow was a little bit tilted to the left. We cannot let that happen again. That would be an absolute tragedy. All right. Let's 
very hot in my room, no AC, we have a thunderstorm, a tornado warning outside. I really am struggling to take the sticker off. Um, that is, oh, here we go, got it. All right, sticker is off. I wanna make sure it's level on my finger. Get the phone placed down perfectly. Probably gonna cut this up and edit it so it doesn't seem like it took 15 minutes. But trust me, I will take quite a while doing this. That's almost there, that's almost there. But it's just not straight enough. There we go, I think that's it. No, 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 no. Close one, we almost botched it. It was a little bit off center. No, it's tilted, what am I doing? I think that's it. I think that's it. You know what? I'm going for it. Oh my gosh. I see this as an absolute win. <laughs> Look at that. What do you guys think? Rate me out of 10 on how perfectly center and straight that is. Rate me out of 10. If I, I see anything less than 10, I'm gonna find you.